What's up guys, it's Higgins in Japan here with another edition of the Friday Video Thing. The Friday Video Thing is the video that I make in my car on the way home from work on Friday. Or, as some of my students like to refer to it, my driving video. Or my driving movie, I should say. Uh, yeah, they call it my driving movie. Um, and also, I am wearing my seatbelt, so for the student that said he didn't want to see me die horribly in a car accident, um... I have my seatbelt on, which would make it difficult for me to then upload the video if I was not living. But anyways, let's get on with things. First and foremost, I want to shout out to uh, Fogheart for the uh, intro music that I use um, on my Friday videos. And uh, uh, thanks to him and all of those people over at the Tokyo Digital Crew. Um, they make music uh, for those of us that can't <laughs> to be quite honest and so I used one of his songs in my Friday video intros and so that's gonna be up for as long as as long as I, I use that for the Friday videos from now on so um, thanks 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 for the music because I tried messing around with GarageBand once and it just didn't turn out all that well so anywho um, yeah, so driving home, it's a little cloudy um, out this evening as I drive home. Um, but uh, it looked like it was going to rain today. Thankfully, it didn't. We had softball practice, um, a bit of a like um, shorter softball practice today because um, the first year students um, were all at Disney today. Um, and so they were getting back sometime later this evening um, and it would have been around the same time that softball practice normally ends so you'd have had like all these giant buses trying to get in the parking lot along with all the people or all the students trying to leave and parents coming to pick up their students it would have just been a giant mess and so softball practice was a bit abbreviated today but it was good nonetheless um, I didn't get hit in the face with any softballs so that's always a good thing um, and uh, so today I wanted to talk about um, like so the last video I made uh, last Friday video I talked about um, why I came to Japan kind of the reasoning behind why I came to Japan um, and today I kind of want to talk about like the things that I like slash love about Japan um, and the reasons that I will continue to stay in Japan um, for the time being and um, so like I feel like it's really easy to make well I feel like some people have a really easy time I'm not pointing fingers at anyone um, have a really easy time about complaining about their situation in Japan for whatever reason um, it, to be honest being an English teacher is not a difficult job um, it can be a career if you choose it to be despite what other uh, people that make videos on YouTube like to comment and say that it's not a real job and it's not a real whatever um, teaching is a real job teaching English is a real job if you take it seriously and we all know that I like to keep it positive so we're not gonna talk about those people we're gonna talk about me <laughs> we're gonna talk about why I like living in Japan um, there's so many things that are like very convenient about living in Japan that um, like that I never took advantage of while living in the States mostly because it's kind of difficult to take advantage of certain things um, such as like public transportation now I never lived in like New York City where you know there's public transportation in abundance and everybody uses the trains and everybody uses the subways and the buses and all that kind of stuff um, I just never lived in an area of America that um, like afforded that poss possibility because that's a lot of people don't realize like man America should just get on this public transportation bandwagon but the problem is like everything's so far away like you can't just get on the train and it it would take too much time to actually and it just wouldn't be worth it to to um, use public transportation outside of like giant metro plex city things like it just wouldn't make sense um, and so yeah like that's something that I never took advantage of and, and here like 
people ask me like, oh, do you drive to Tokyo? I'm like, no, there's no way that I would drive to Tokyo. Like, there's just, first of all, you have to find some place to park. That's inconvenient, but, um, and expensive. But I can get on a train and be in Tokyo in an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and it cost me around $12 American monies. Um, one way so you're looking at like 25 bucks round trip and that might seem like a lot for me that doesn't seem like a lot at all um it's not like i'm doing it every day i usually go to tokyo um once a month once every other month a couple times a month depending on why i'm going there but um yeah like and the town that I lived in before, it was a little bit more, well, it was a lot more expensive. It was about twice the price, just one way. So, um, yeah, where I live now is a little bit more convenient to, to trains and stuff like that. So that's something that I never really took advantage of while living in the States. The other thing, I have a job that I find really fulfilling. And like I can't say that all of my jobs in the States were like fulfilling like this is. Um, like, I just like what I do. I like being a teacher. I like interacting with my students. I like getting to know my students. I like helping coach softball. Um, I like just being at the school. Um, I mean, unless there's like zero things for me to do, then it can get kind of boring. But um, yeah, I, I like being a teacher um, and, you know, the, the job that I had previous to this, I was, uh, I, I want to phrase this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm being rude. Like I didn't find working and managing a video game store rewarding. Um, I found it as a means to pay the bills. Now that's not to say that like people that have those jobs can't find, uh, you know, like that job can't be rewarding to them. I mean, not everybody wants to be a teacher. I understand that. And so they're going to look at me and go, oh, well, I don't want to be a teacher. So I, I don't care about teaching. I really wish this person in front of me would pull up like any fraction of an amount because I'm kind of sitting weirdly in the intersection when they've got plenty of room to move up. But then again, I live in a prefecture that's known for having the worst drivers in all of Japan, like Ibaraki has been like at the top or on the top of the list for years. Um, sometimes people do this thing where, and it really, really makes me mad. Somebody did it this morning um, on the way to work where like you're turning left and there's traffic coming straight and they're also turning left, like if that makes sense. Like I'll show you up here. Like see how this lane that we're in, oh, I'm not gonna run it. You can go straight or turn left. And across the street, they have a turn lane that they would be turning right. What people will do in Japan is they will start turning right before you even get around the corner. So you've got this weird um, situation where you've got two people trying to get into one lane like they shouldn't be turning at all like it's stupid because if I'm behind somebody that's turning right or turning left here what if I'm going straight I'm gonna hit them like why are you even in the intersection like that so anyways somebody did it this morning and of course I like laid on the horn and they didn't flinch because they didn't think they did anything wrong but I'm like yo you're driving like an idiot that's what the horns for horns for two things let's get out of the way or stop driving like an idiot I guess that's the foreigner in me coming out like shouldn't be driving using my horn I should just let people drive the way they drive but anyways um back to things about why I left Japan <laughs> um yeah so like I find teaching very rewarding as a career for me um, and so, like, I want to continue to do that as long as I can. Um, and I like the opportunity that I have here on YouTube as well because I live in Japan. Because there's quite, I mean, there's a lot of people. I mean, the joke is that every ALT has a YouTube channel. 
um, or every foreigner in Japan has a YouTube channel. But, like, the thing is, there aren't a lot of foreigners in Japan, and so the small amount of foreigners that are in Japan that do have YouTube channels is even smaller. So I have, like, an opportunity, at least I see it as an opportunity, to show people a side of Japan um, that's the normal, regular, everyday side of Japan, um, not the, like, like, wacky side of Japan. And I won't talk about that, because I can talk on the length about that topic. Um, the other thing is... I had um, bronchitis last week and was like coughing and my throat was just completely shot in the video last week like I would like like run out of breath because like it just it hurt it didn't hurt to breathe I just couldn't like get full breaths because of bronchitis and had I just been living in the States like I didn't really have insurance and the insurance that I had at the, the store I was working was not the greatest, but like here in Japan, I pay Nash into the national health insurance. It costs like seven bucks to get all of my medicine from the, the doctor and the doctor's visit cost me $9. So like, I know that I'm paying into the health insurance. So I know that it costs more than like 16 bucks, but it cost me 16 bucks to get medicine and go to the doctor. Like, I'm not going to get political here, but, like, that's not going to happen in the States. And, like, something needs to change because I like the fact that I can go to the doctor. I can go to the dentist. And since it's national health insurance, like, I, um, like, what I do is I pay a percentage of my salary from last year. So it's based on what I made last year. And, uh... I pay a percentage of that, and that goes into my into the national health insurance or the national health care program. Um, like, yeah, it just I don't I can't like fathom not having insurance like this because I can just go to any doctor, I can go to any dentist, I can go to any hospital in the country, show them my card, and get medical access. Like, it's just that simple, um, and. Like, yeah, that's just not going to happen in the States. <laughs> um, so those are a few of the reasons why I love living in Japan. Um, I mean, you can talk about the food and, um, yeah, Japanese food is pretty great. Um, you can talk about the convenience of, like, convenience stores. Because, holy cow, like, I go to 7-Eleven multiple times a week and it's not just to get food or something to drink it's you know to pay my bills or to go to the ATM or that kind of stuff like it's just really convenient and you can do more stuff there too no oh, there's a Hatsune Miku car don't see that very often um yeah so you can pay your bills you can buy concert tickets you can like have stuff from Amazon shipped there so you can just pick it up there at your convenience. You can um, like send money overseas. Like you can do all this crazy stuff at 7-Eleven and most convenience stores. It's great. Convenience stores are great in Japan. Um, but yeah, so I thought that I would share with you guys some of the reasons why I love living in Japan. Um, and hopefully if you decide to come to Japan or you decide to move to Japan, um, you will be able to experience some of the cool things that I have, and hopefully, with my YouTube channel, I can bring sanity back to the J-Vlogging community, and we can all get together, and we can all hold hands, and we can all make videos that aren't crazy, and that aren't drama-filled clickbait videos, maybe. That's my dream, at least. That'll do it for me. That'll do it for the Friday video, guys. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. I'm actually going to go get Mexican food tomorrow, and that makes me excited. Because while I do love Japanese food, sometimes it is hard to find good Mexican food in Japan. And I found a couple places that have really good Mexican food. And I don't share them with other people because I don't want them to go. Because I want them to be just for me. But um, anyways, like I said, have a good one, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments or things that you want to talk, want me to talk about in future videos, 
let me know in the comment section below. As always, head over to facebook.com slash Higgins in Japan. Like that page, like, comment, subscribe here, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.